hello friends welcome back to node.js tutorial so we are discussing about the streaming concept so basically what is stream streams are data collected from a source and brought to another location in a sequence means basically in simple language stream is taking data from the source and passing data to the destination so this is the simple step so for this stream have there are four types of category this is the write stream read stream duplex and transform today we are going to discuss about the duplex stream so if i just check the overview from the basic so what is basically read stream read stream is basically they will have some files and from the files they will get the result and fetch from the input.txt means from the source file so this was the read stream and then we discussed about the write stream i am going to add some data into some files that is the destination files suppose i am creating output.txt and it will dynamically create so just put the name of your file and if you just write something and if you want to write something then you can use the create write stream method right and by using this it will print your data to the destination file and the last thing we discussed about the piping concept so basically this is the combination of read stream and write stream means we don't need to write the streaming uh, read stream and write stream separately basically pipe will directly pass the data from the source to the destination right now in this video we are going to discuss about some new things that is the duplex so this is the one kind of streaming concept and these all are related to the read stream write stream that's the reason i am just overviewing these things and i will recommend you please see my last tutorials so that you can understand it better so i already discussed about the read stream write stream and the piping concept so if you don't see that i will recommend you please see this so you will get better understanding now what is duplex stream the duplex streams are fundamental category of streams in node.js this type of stream is basically hybrid stream so meaning it accepts read and write method while it's implemented right so as an example we can see what is duplex streams like uh, any sockets that is TCP socket, uh, crypto streams, and there are lots of example. Basically, duplex stream is responsible for both read and write stream. Now, let's create a custom duplex stream to delay some chunk data, right? So, for this, we will use the pass through. So, how to use this? Simply just create a constant and call the pass through and write require and here just call the stream so simple stream and here just call pass through right and i will going to call the pass through that is that is constant and i am creating some tunnel so T U N N E L and just call the new pass through right so i already included the pass through so we can use this right so with the tunnel we can check the data processing to the writable stream right so pass through is basically a duplex stream that act as a tunnel to pipe our readable stream to the writable stream so already just in the piping concept basically it will directly pass the data from source to the destination right the pass to doing the same things right now let's read the file using the readable stream so simply just create here and just write constant so i will include both uh, readable and writable stream 
and we'll include the file system library so inside the file system library we'll get all those things so simply write fs and here simply write create read stream and also we'll use the create write stream so we both including these things and now now we have a file that is input.txt so let's use this so this is duplex concept right this is duplex concept in node.js and simply just right here constant and call the read stream so here write simply read stream equal to create read stream and here just i am going to call the input dot txt input dot txt this is the source file so from the input dot txt will collect the data will read the data and will print that data to the output that is will use in this time um write stream so write here write stream and simply write create write stream and provide any name so here simply write output dot txt so don't worry if you don't have output dot txt it will automatically create while well, we run the application right now just use this tunnel and check so simply just write here tunnel dot on and we'll get all the data from input dot txt and we'll call the event emitter that is the data event emitter right so we'll call this and here simply write chunk so this is actually i am going to write a um, l function and here in the uh, function we are just passing the chunk and we can console this thing so simply write console log and let's see what happened so simply just write bytes let's print the bytes and just write chunk okay so our set now just and now just pass all the data to the right stream so using pipe so simply just use the read stream so i have taken this variable read stream and use the pipe this is the pipe and just use the tunnel and tunnel equal to not equal to actually we will pass into the pipe into the um, right stream so in this way right so now simply run this program so simply write node and duplex dot js so simply we can see the bytes that is buffer 54 68 these are all things and it actually cannot be understandable code so here we can use the throttle so besides the pass through we have throttle to delay how long data passes from one source to another in the pipeline so let's see so we can use duplex stream to set a delay of when the data is brought into our application so simply create a class suppose here write class and let's use the throttle class so simply write throttle t h r o t t a l e and let's extends the duplex so write duplex d u p l e x duplex and let's call the duplex so here inside the stream we'll get the duplex and inside this just create a constructor so simply write constructor and i'm just passing a time that is i want to make some delay so here simply write time and i am passing the time so i am calling super and this dot delay so we have a cure this dot delay so we can use the delay using this and i am passing the time right and here simply just write 
underscore read and we will create a read function so simply write read okay and also we have another type of things that is write so we have a read function as well as we have a write function and inside the write function we will just pass all the chunk so simply write chunk and we need encoding and we need some callback so we will get the output through the callback and here we will create this dot push and we will push the chunk and simply just use a set timeout function so we just call the set timeout function and simply just use the callback variable from here and that delay so which we have actually set it from the constructor so this delay okay so now let's define the delay so here we have a tunnel so let's create a throttle so we just use the throttle so simply here just write constant and write throttle so here t h r o t t a l e throttle equal to new throttle so simply just write new throttle okay and let's call these two things from here so after the class is done so let's create this okay so now our aim is we need to get the amount of data so simply write late and uh, suppose i am taking a variable amount equal to by default i am setting initially this is zero and we are passing all the chunk and let's concatenate the value so simply write amount and every time we will add the data with the actual length of the chunk so simply write chunk dot length okay and here also we are getting uh, console log and bytes okay so all are right now if i just write this program again sorry if i just run this program again let's see what is output so we are getting the same output so this is actually a small file so, and uh, there is so actually this is a small file and i want some large suppose if we have a 1 mb file so already have a sample cartoon so let's use these things and here simply for input stream uh, sorry in read stream just use the file that is uh, sample cartoon dot mp4 and here write new cartoon dot mp4 so this will be the destination that's the output file okay now let's see the output so just clear this again and run uh, note duplex 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 dot js and let's enter so we are getting there is lots of data are passing separately so we can see every times we are getting all the things right so basically we have to pass some delay to the constructor so simply while defining these things just pass some 500 millisecond and let's run this again we are getting this type of things that is the 65486 right so this is the bytes and in this way basically it is concatenating so simply and just um, remove these things and print the amount right and here just write this amount and let's see what is the difference and how data is and how the byte is transferring so here we can see the byte is transferring so in this way actually data is transferring from the source file to the destination file so basically this is all about the duplex concept by working with a duplex stream in node.js we can see how can we delay passing data from once to from one stream to another so in the uh, real time if if i just see any live matches or any live streaming actually all the videos are not uploaded but we are getting all the things with a delay means suppose 
this is the 2302 this is the time and this time actually live streaming started and we can see that things with the delay means after starting with a 500 delay or one minute delay or two minute delay we can get access of that things that means the actual event are not completed but we are getting all the things lively with some delay so it is the important thing and it's very much important in our digital world and we used most of the time without us knowing especially in socket so this is a powerful features of how they implemented both readable streams and both writable streams togetherly so i think you will like this video and you will get some live streaming concept how live stream is working and how we can get the live data from any live server so hope you will like this video and still if you have any doubts in this video please comment in a below comment section and next day we are going to discuss about another topic in node.js so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye